Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box tutorial on our Transpose From To feature. In this video, we will quickly go over all the options within the Transpose dialog, and then we will take a look at the feature in action. Note, this video is demonstrated on Windows, but the methods used also apply to the Mac version of Band in a Box as well. To access the Transpose dialog, just go to the Edit menu at the top of the Band in a Box window, scroll down to Transpose, and select Transpose from To. Now, here we have the Transpose dialog. This dialog allows you to transpose a part of the song from one key to another. The first two options we see in the dialog are the range options. We can use the first box to enter the number of the bar we want our transposition to start. And we can use the second box to enter how many bars we want our transposition to last for. We can also set these two options automatically by highlighting a section of our chord sheet before opening the transpose dialog. Here we have our transpose from key field. This option will automatically be filled in by the key of your song. This field can be changed. The resulting transposition will depend on the interval between this field and the transpose to field below. The transpose to field determines what key we want to transpose our selected bars to. The resulting transposition will depend on the interval between the transpose from field and this one. Note, if the key of the first field is incorrect, the new key will be incorrect by the same amount. So now let's take a quick look at the feature in action. I've currently got the demo song for our Hang On style loaded which is by default in the key of C. So let's highlight the B section from bar 9 through 16. And then we'll go to the edit menu like before, and under transpose, select transpose from 2. We can see here our range is automatically set, starting at bar 9, lasting for 8 bars until bar 16. Our transpose from is already set by the song key, so now let's just change our transpose to to say G. We'll press OK. We can see the changes in the chord sheet, so I'll just press generate and play. And now we can hear the difference as well. In addition to transposing just a section of a song, we can go back to our edit menu and under the transpose menu, we can select transpose the entire song up or down by one semitone. So let's transpose up. We can see the changes in the chord sheet. And now back down. We can see the changes in the chord sheet. But we can also transpose the entire song by a particular number of semitones as well. And like before, we can also see the changes in the chord sheet. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box tutorial on our Transpose feature. Have fun!